Myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis, or MG, is an autoimmune disorder affecting the neuromuscular junction of the voluntary skeletal muscles, such as the muscles in the face, eyes, throat, extremities, and etc. Neuromuscular junction is the place where motor neurons and skeletal muscle fibers communicate with each other to generate muscle contraction. In order to generate muscle contraction, the motor neurons release neurotransmitters called acetylcholine, and acetylcholine binds to the acetylcholine receptors on the muscle fiber, which activates a chain reaction within the muscle cell, and ultimately results in voluntary muscle contraction. In MG, the immune system makes antibodies that attach to the acetylcholine receptors, making them insensitive to acetylcholine, thereby blocking neuromuscular transmission and leading to muscle weakness. A lot of conditions can lead to MG, such as infection, immunization, surgery, heat, emotional stress, and approximately 10% of patients with MG have a thymoma, which is a cancer of the thymus. Signs and Symptoms A distinguishing clinical feature of MG is the fluctuating muscle weakness that worsens with activity and improves with rest, and it is usually more prominent at the end of the day. Around 85% of patients will have eye muscle weakness that results in diplopia, or double vision, and ptosis, or drooping of upper eyelids. MG can also affect the muscles that control swallowing, chewing, and speaking, and cause symptoms like dysphagia, or difficulty swallowing, and dysarthria, or difficulty speaking. It can also involve the neck muscles and cause a dropped head syndrome. MG can cause limb weakness with upper limbs more affected than the lower limbs. There are no autonomic symptoms like those that occur in multiple sclerosis discussed in my last video as MG only involves the acetylcholine receptors. A complication called myasthenia crisis occurs when the respiratory muscles are involved and results in respiratory failure that requires intubation and mechanical ventilation. Myasthenia crisis is a medical emergency and should always be a priority. Diagnosis Just like multiple sclerosis, MG is mostly a clinical diagnosis based on symptoms and physical examination. An edrophonium test is a test that injects a short-acting acetylcholinesterase inhibitor that increases the availability of acetylcholine in the neuromuscular junction so that they can bind to the acetylcholine receptors on the muscle fibers and cause muscle contraction. If the patient's symptoms improve temporarily, the test is positive meaning that patient has MG. It has a sensitivity of 70 to 95% of MG diagnosis. Treatment Acetylcholinesterase inhibitors are commonly used to improve symptoms of MG, but they do not treat MG. Acetylcholinesterase is an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. Acetylcholinesterase inhibitors inhibit the breakdown of acetylcholine so that there are more acetylcholine to bind to the receptors. Examples include pyridostigming and neostigming. Side effects include cramps, increased salivation, diarrhea, blurry vision, and muscle weakness. The next line of treatment are immunosuppressants, which work by suppressing the immune response and are indicated in patients who are still symptomatic after acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. Common examples include glucocorticoids and azathioprine. Intravenous immunoglobulin and plasmapheresis are used as urgent treatments for myasthenic crisis due to their rapid onset of action and for those who are resistant to immunosuppressants. A thymectomy or removal of the thymus can be done in those with thymoma. Nursing interventions. Respiratory distress or myasthenia crisis is always the priority. Follow your ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation. Initiate aspiration precaution due to weakened neck and esophageal muscles. Keep the head of the bed more than 30 degrees and at a fully upright position while eating and drinking. Thicken liquids and modify food consistency as needed. Oral care after each meal and before bedtime. Have suction set up at bedside. Safety and fall precaution due to muscle weakness and change of vision. Balancing activities with rest especially in the late afternoon or near the end of the day when symptoms are more prominent. Provide nutrition support due to difficulty chewing and swallowing. Referral to dietitians. 
Offer small, frequent, and high-calorie meals. Perform eye care due to ptosis and difficulty closing the eyes. Administer artificial tears and taping eyes shut at night to prevent drying and irritation. Educate on preventive measures such as hand washing, smoking cessation, and age appropriate vaccinations to prevent infections that could trigger a myasthenic attack. Here is a summary of myasthenia gravis for any of your nursing exams. MG is an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system generates antibodies that attach to the acetylcholine receptor sites making them insensitive to acetylcholine, thereby blocking neuromuscular transmission and leading to muscle weakness. About 10% of the patients have thymoma, which is a tumor in the thymus. Symptoms are prominent at the end of the day after activities and improve with rest. Eye muscle weakness, that causes diplopia and ptosis, are the most common symptoms. It can cause respiratory failure referred to as myasthenic crisis, which is a medical emergency. Treatments include acetylcholinesterase inhibitors for symptom control, glucocorticoids, and azathioprine to suppress immune response, and IVIG and plasmapheresis 